A research on creating a customized approach to healthcare is well underway. 70,000 Singaporeans are already part of the SG 100K study, and slots for 30,000 more are now open. Researchers aim to map the DNA and the complete set of genes of 100,000 Singaporeans. But, as Sherlin Xia reports, using genetic information in healthcare could impact policy, and it does need careful study. Your height and weight, blood pressure and even your skin could hold the key to pinpointing underlying causes of illnesses like cancer and chronic diseases. Information gathered by researchers could identify risk factors and prevent a slow progression of such diseases. All Singaporeans and permanent residents of any ethnicity aged 30 to 84 years old are welcome to join, including those with pre-existing conditions. Participants will also get a detailed health report of their own at no charge, which they can use for discussion with their doctors. As Singapore faces a growing burden of long-term health conditions, the study team says having local data would be key in delivering efficient care. Even something simple like what represents a normal thickness for a blood vessel differs across ages, across genders, between ethnic groups and between populations. So we need to first of all use our data to define what is normal. Then that allows us to identify people who are different. When we know what those risk factors are, then we can develop diagnostic tests that allow early detection of, of disease. And most importantly, we can develop targeted interventions. Most of the 70,000 people recruited so far have been part of existing studies. You might have a lot of hidden illnesses, diseases that you do not know, some genetic traits that you didn't know. To contribute the data and, and help with future generations, um, a person who has a daughter myself, I think, I, I hope that it will benefit her and generations to come. One of the newest participants to be enrolled was none other than Health Minister Ong Kang. He says precision medicine could one day be put to good use, with family doctors, for example, facilitating genetic screening. But he also warned of issues surrounding genetic discrimination and cost. For us to fully benefit from precision medicine, much work needs to be done in clinical development, ascertainment of cost and medical effectiveness, healthcare financing policies, legislation, and determining what is encouraged, allowed, and prescribed. We need to conduct a great deal of studies, consultations, and engagements with policymakers, physicians, economists, regulatory bodies, bioethics, the public, and also the patients. And if such technology becomes mainstream, Mr Ong adds that a rethink of healthcare financing and safety nets would be needed to keep it accessible.